Hello students. Thank you for submitting your lesson one Google Docs form yesterday for yesterday's lesson. Today we're going to be starting a whole new objective and it is that readers make note of the who, what, where, when, and why of the book. And to start this lesson, we're using a mentor text called Number the Stars. There was a link um, to this read aloud on your parents' email. So hopefully you got a chance to do chapter one um, read aloud of this mentor text. But today we're going to use that to make note of these important things. Readers, as we read complex text, you need to tackle these specific things. So I'm going to show you an example of how to do that. In chapter one, they started with this. I'll race you to the corner, Ellen. Anne-Marie adjusted the thick leather pack on her back so that her school books balanced evenly. Are you ready? She looked at her best friend. Ellen made a face. No, she said laughing. You know I can't beat you. My legs aren't as long. Can't we just walk like civilized people? She was a stocky 10-year-old, unlike lanky Anne-Marie. Now, what I'm going to do is start taking note of these two different characters. So what we need to do is just remember some specific details about these characters. For Anne-Marie, I would note that she is more lanky and a fast runner because that's what the author wanted us to realize is the difference between Anne-Marie and Ellen. Another thing I want to note is that she's 10 years old. Ellen, on the other hand, is stocky, but she's also 10 years old. They are best friends. The author wants us to remember that. Anne-Marie is a runner. She likes to run. And Ellen is not a runner. They also differ because Anne-Marie has blonde hair and Ellen has dark hair. So these are some ways that we as readers can take note, even just from this mentor text. Another thing to notice is the where of this. And so if we could switch slides. We kind of know who, who is in the story, Anne-Marie and Ellen. So we need to jot that down first. We're jotting down and taking notes of important characters so that we can remember them and uh, not get confused by them. Then we can go, let's see here, uh, let's go to the where. This particular uh, mentor text talks about Copenhagen and they talk about Copenhagen Street and that is a city in Denmark. So we wanna take notes of that. And for the what, I as a reader am going to take notes that this is an area that is, um, I guess, being taken over by Nazi soldiers. So we could talk about um, the area is being taken over. There's lots of soldiers there. It's important to take note of what's happening. And then for the when, it doesn't specifically tell us yet what time period this is, but we know it's a historical time period uh, because that is our unit, historical fiction. And we can make a guess by them referring to Nazi soldiers and German invasion uh, of this city that it must be during World War II. So we have that to think about. So these are some important notes that I would be jotting down from this mentor text. Readers, we want you to try to jot down some of these W things from your text. So we will be having you do that as a task. If we go to the next slide, this is your prompt. We want you to record the who, the what, the when, and the where from chapters three and four of your I Survive book. 
So you might not have this one, but you know which one you're working out of. And we want you to record some of those similar things as I've just shown you. Can you put them in a Google Docs and share it with your teacher, please? You can even fill in a chart like what we did with all those W words. You can fill out a chart as well. The next task after that would be to read your independent reading book and record it in your reading log. And also, don't forget, we have News ELA. And the, the article we picked for you this time is called College Brings Llama in Tuxedo to his sister's wedding. <laughs> so we hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to answer the questions and the written response as well. Thank you. I hope you have fun.